So remember in my last video, you know, where I did in partnership with Verizon, where I spoke about cloud-based gaming and smart cities. Well, in this video, I kind of want to dive a little bit deeper into that subject. Because the thing is, well, Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband, which is already available in parts of select cities, it's part of how that is achieved. Now, the other part of Verizon's 5G Ultra Wideband that enables this is multi-access edge computing or MEC for short. So how it works is it basically brings the computing resources of the cloud closer to the user's device. And it does this by not storing, you know, the information off in some faraway server. So the benefit of this is that in turn, it helps reduce latency and it also speeds up the local processing time for data intensive applications. Then data can just be stored and analyzed and processed at the network edge instead of off in the cloud or on devices. And also before we go any further, big thank you to Verizon for sponsoring this video. We actually have a series of videos in which we've done together with one more to come that I'm excited about, so stay tuned for that. Through Verizon 5G Ultra Wideband, the latency in which it takes for data to move from and to the phone to the network is reduced. So communication between server and phone is faster, which is something that's really great, especially when it comes to cloud-based gaming or smart cities. It's like cloud-based gaming can recreate the way you enjoy your phone by allowing you to access high quality console games from the cloud. And with 5G ultra wideband, games will be able to download much faster with edge computing. And as a result, the game software on the phone could be smaller due to transferring some processing to the cloud. Live events will even be improved with the help of mobile edge computing in 5G. So with something like crowd vision, there's gonna be an even lower latency to detect movement of people, which in turn can monitor the formation of crowds in real time. And that in turn can reduce people not socially distancing. Or it can provide live data on important things like crowd congestion, traffic flows, queues, and wait times in venues like airports and arenas. So like imagine being able to get real time wait times of something like the TSA line at the airport. 5G ultra wideband could help make that happen. There's even a company known as YBVR that is building a VR video platform and testing how they can utilize 5G Ultra Wideband to stream live 8K video to sports fans and concert attendees. I wouldn't be surprised if we start to see, you know, more of 8K streaming devices rolling out after that. Because you're gonna definitely need a device that's gonna offer an awesome viewing experience for that multi-angle view you would get, where you can then smoothly choose your camera view with ultra low latency. This option alone is going to let you further personalize your at-home experience, thus in turn placing you in control. Now in the area of cloud gaming, this is a very new concept and still kind of in what we may consider the beta phase, but even in factoring that in, the possibilities that could come from that are just like amazing to even think about. Okay, so for example, there are a few cloud-based gaming systems currently available which gives access to tons of console games via the cloud, which means we could then access these games on demand on our smartphones without the need for Wi-Fi. All in all, one thing I can say is that 5G ultra wideband will bring us faster speeds and ultra low latency. But it's with the addition of mobile edge computing that's gonna take it to that next level. It's the combination of these two elements that enables the things that we're most excited about with the arrival of Verizon 5G ultra wideband. So hopefully this video will help shine some knowledge to some things that you may not have known about 5G Ultra Wideband. If you have any additional questions though, feel free to drop them down below in that comment section. And as always, thanks for taking the time out to let me tech you out.